Hey y'all, what's happening? What's going on? Welcome to my channel, T Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my Gemini and Collective. What's going on, Gemini? High vibe and cross watchers. You are here. You all are here. <laughs> I can't even talk. All y'all here that have showed up. I love you. You are loved and you're very welcome. Okay, and thank you for all your love and your support. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your subscribes, your donations, your booked readings, your emails of kind, your emails of confirmation as well, and kind words. You guys are so sweet and loving. Of course, you're the lovers, duh. So I ask as you come in, my lovelies, if you hit that thumbs up button, yay! Let the collective, let the world know that we are here, okay? We're on a healing journey to learn, grow, and evolve to be better. And it doesn't matter who you are, you can start at any time, okay? So we don't discriminate over here, but we do, we will let you know when you're wrong, okay? So if you don't like to know the truth or be corrected from God's angels to let you know, then this is not the channel for you. Or if you don't like, it doesn't matter. But anyway, I appreciate and thank you. I'm just rambling right now. Um, keep in mind, you guys, this is a general message. The messages resonate, may or may not resonate. Um, oh, it's already speaking to me right now as I speak. And I haven't even shuffled. I just picked up the cards when I walked in. Okay, hold on. Let's do the housekeeping first. Wait, hold on. Child, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> anyway, um, Gemini, hold on. Just... Sorry about that, angels. Anyway, um, what else? Keep in mind that the energies um, will or will not resonate. Energy is fluid. It's about past, present, and or future. It could about, be about anything and anyone. So keep an open mind and just take the energy, okay? Don't force anything to fit. So choir, come, come, come to the front, yay! Oh, one, two, three, oh, T girl, tarot, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, tarot, magic and collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 my Gemini. Yay, Gemini, hi, my cross watcher. Okay, when I walked into my room, this tarot deck was on the floor and it was facing up. I usually have them all face down on the side of which cards Spirit wants me to use, and I have some over here. So on when I walked in the door, this card was facing up on the ground. So that's telling me, in your, I'm getting, that's the overall energy. So when I walked in, honey, so somebody that has behavioral issues is hostile and antisocial. Okay, they could be, they could be a little racist. Okay, take the energy as it resonates. But you could be from another authenticity, uh, uh, authentic, it's necessity, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, what is, it's necessity, I can't even speak, okay, but you know what I'm saying, you could be another color, another race, ethnicity, ethnicity, and this person's triggered by something that you're doing, Gemini, oh, you ended something, and you, you left, you moved to calmer waters, queen of swords, you spoke your truth, you said what you said, and you moved away. And somebody is upset. Now, this is from your past. Somebody from your past. Whoever this bitter, angry person with behavioral issues. Because the card is showing a feminine energy. Now, it doesn't have to be. It could be a masculine in their feminine energies, okay? Um, but it could be anybody. But whoever this energy is, I'm getting a woman. A woman is a racist woman. Don't say it's a Karen. Because you know them Karens is racist. Maybe this person's name could be Karen. No offense, if your name is Karen, that doesn't mean that this is you. I'm just saying, okay? But you traveled, you got away. And you was, oh. So you, you moved to calmer waters and you got some type of level up, some type of glow up You when you moved away from this person. And you're moving full steam ahead, okay, very quickly. You have the protection of the holy angels, um, the holy realm, okay? Um. What else, spirit? Okay, so we're going to get into it and see what the overall overall energy, but the overall energy is somebody 
is angry. That's what I'm getting. Even though they, this person has behavioral issues, that's very angry. They could be, um, I don't know, bipolar. That's what I'm hearing. Bipolar and spirit said and schizophrenic. Oh my God. And whatever you said to whoever this energy is, Gemini, you could have said something. Now take it any, anyway. You could be any zodiac sign. And no matter who you are, you're operating in truth in the queen of swords and you're standing up for yourself. That's what I'm getting. You're standing up for yourself. You're saying something that's pissing this person off. You said something about an ending, okay? You had some type of level up or some type of rebirth, new beginning, because that's what the death card is as well. That means transformation. You cut the ties with this energy. You cut cords. You possibly did a cord cutting ritual with this energy. And you know when you do those types of rituals, the other energy feels it. They feel some type of disconnect. And immediately when you disconnect, this is the queen of wands in reverse. Lord have mercy. This is a hoe. A hoe from your past. Okay, a fire sign. Don't have to be. But I'm getting, I'm hearing Aries and Sagittarius. So if those signs stick out to you for your past Gemini or Sagittarius, because this could be flipped on the Gemini side, okay? So you could take that energy and flip it. Um, This is somebody who you were close to or you were in a marriage or a relationship with. Yeah, you celebrated with this person. And this person is very imbalanced in their emotions. I'm telling you, they are because some type of, you're blocking somebody. You're Somebody want to offer you some love or they want to offer you a relationship and you're like, hell no, I'll cut ties with that. Okay, I'm moving away. You spoke your truth, Gemini. You said what you said. Not whatever you said was the truth and you're not going back on your word. This person has been talking shit about you with the page of swords. They're gossiping and spying on you as well. Because you don't want to be with them. So this is giving me scorned lover energy. I'm getting two energies in one. So let me take a deep breath. Um, This woman is angry. This racist woman is very angry because somebody is leaving that them. And they're coming to travel to, towards you, Gemini. And they're releasing some type of heavy burden. So this, who is, I want to know who is this to, to the, the um, collective and high vibe. Who is this? It is your past, though, and it's a lover, Gemini, okay? So take it however it goes. A lover from your past, a feminine energy or a masculine energy is mad. I feel like this feminine energy is mad because this masculine is coming to you. Or if you're a masculine, there's a feminine mat, There's a feminine energy that a masculine is coming. I mean, a fem. let me see if it's a feminine, because I'm getting confused with the feminine energies. Somebody's trying to pretend to be a, I heard a high ranking. So somebody got with a copycat or a, a, a um, I heard an imitator. It's, uh, um, oh, what is this? And they dropped a heavy burden of a marriage. So somebody's getting divorced and this person's pissed off. So a marriage, look, somebody's dropping a marriage and they're, they're pissed off. They're leaving a marriage. This is the pick, the night of what is this? The Knight of Swords. That's somebody who do, is very impulsive. Okay. Um. This for some some of y'all is the other woman. So the other woman is pissed off. They're a racist. So you could be African American, or this could be African American that's racist. Take it however it goes. But somebody was spot. No, yeah. Is that a spy? Or as a gossip, they looking into you. Okay, so whoever is the feminine energy, they are tapping in. They're trying to read up on you. They're reading up on you. Okay? And what are they trying? Yeah, they're reading up on you, high priestess. And they already, they realize that you cut ties and actually ended with this person. And you're blocking this offer. But this person is crazy and deranged. It don't matter because this masculine still wants to be with whoever you are. So it doesn't matter if you don't want to be with them. This masculine still wants to travel towards you, take action towards you. Wands are action. This the masculine thinks that you're his world. I'm hearing Mary J. Blige share my world. How the how odd that the world card comes out. This person wants you to share their world. Okay, whoever you are, you're very healing. You could be an earth angel, star seed, very tapped in to God, the Most High. And whoever you are, you're this person's wish fulfillment. They want they want you. They don't want to be with whoever this toxic, this toxic, deranged, hostile, antisocial person is. 
And they, if they want to come charging towards you, take action towards you, like I said. But this person, whoever the masculine is, they could be a little lusty, okay? A little lusty. And then what is this behind it? And their money could be a little slow. So I don't know, maybe this feminine energy ran out of money and this masculine. No, he don't see her or this relationship or this marriage as victory and success. So I don't think it's moving forward at all. No, it's not. And something's been exposed. What's been exposed, Holy Spirit? Ooh, let me get a good shuffle in. Let's see what's been exposed. Well, we know that man wants to come back to you. But what's been exposed about this karmic energy, though, Spirit? Ooh, the karmic had other lovers. Gemini, you done showed up. And I'm also getting that this masculine has told this feminine energy that's lost their marbles that you want to be with them. I mean, not you want to be with them because you don't. I don't feel this person wants to be with you and they're rejecting them so this person feels rejected okay because this person wants to come to you because they're like you're nothing like the collective the collective is healing and nurturing and i love them and i miss them so much they're the love of my life love of my life you are my friend i'm hearing this person misses your friendship more than anything and they want to come and apologize to you they probably were rude or mean to you they probably left you or blocked you to go move to calmer waters with a baby's mother okay you're not talking to this person but they're not talking to whoever this behavioral issue person is this baby mama energy okay she's angry she's upset she doesn't want to it's like she's ignoring something or she doesn't want to hear they could be immature like when this person tries to talk to her she's like la, 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 la. like she gets child childish i'm getting a childish energy from this person with behavioral issues we're going to get the zodiac sign of who this sign could be or about but this masculine energy they want to come and apologize and invest in an empress energy, which is you, collective. You're the empress, male or female. Now, how is it happening with, okay, because, well, you could be masculine in, in the um, feminine empress energy. Let's go see. Let's tap into the overall energy. So you cut ties. And when, wait, wait this masculine cut ties expired and discontinued. And when he left or cut ties or told this karmic energy how they felt about you, um, they lost their shit, okay? They did. Because he was like, "You're he's he, it's over. And she lost it. Okay, so what's going on with itself? So that's pretty much what's the overall energy. So this karmic could... Mm, the overall energy is... Somebody is... um, Because the Six of Cups is the past. Somebody having nostalgic memories. In the reverse, it means that somebody doesn't have good memories about somebody, Okay. And see, this card says you lose sight of the future by dwelling on the past. Pain and difficulty do not disappear right away. Emotional upset continues as you are not taking responsibility for your conditions. Self-control is necessary for inheritance or give or possible get or gift pop. What does it say? Or gift possible. So you, and then large sum of money affects your mood. Large sum of money affects your mood. Okay, so who is this? Okay, so that's who this energy is in, in the, the feminine energy. She feels backstabbed and betrayed by this masculine energy. Um. So somebody is not letting go of the past. This is the past and this is not letting go of the past as well. Holding on to past. Okay, I don't know who, this is, could be both energies, your past, the past, the karmic is not letting go of this masculine, or the karmic can be a, a masculine as well, so take it how it goes, but the past, somebody's not letting go of the past, this could be you, Gemini, uh, this is not high vibe, high vibes let go of the past, and you don't have good feelings about this person, because whoever you feel that's coming towards you, the person, the masculine energy that's coming towards you, um, you, you, they backstabbed and betrayed you in some form or fashion. Yeah, this person's a risk taker. They took a risk to go travel. So what happened, though, spirits? So why did the why did the masculine leave divine feminine? Cause they mad now. Cause they had a family with this person, and they wanted to reconcile and celebrate. Okay, but that relationship is leaving somebody imbalanced and all in their emotions. 
because they married that person. And then whoever they married is spying on you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. And then the masculine is drinking heavy. So he's not in a good space right now, okay? He's feeling like the wounded warrior. Nine of Wands energy. Mm-hmm. What else, Sphere? What's this Nine of Wands? Child, these... Just bear with me, y'all, because I'm trying to get these cards to be flipping literally in my hand. And I'm like, how are they trying to reverse? Spirit said, just let this go with the... Okay, I'm going to go with the flow. Thank you, Spirit. W why is... um What happened? Why did this masculine leave? Well, they had a family. That's what they had. Okay. Or maybe their family was telling them. It's something about also this person's, their sexuality. I just, it keeps, and they're drinking heavily in, about that. Yeah, it's about their sexuality. The, the page of wands is somebody who could be, you know, a party person. You know, I'm hearing, why my girl wants to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. Okay, so whoever this karmic energy is, she's, she can drink, I heard drinks, drinks like a fish okay this person drinks like a fish and they don't have any emotion for this person anymore because this person is keeping them in balance they're not growing okay what else spirit what's the issue the issue is the marriage is over shit that's what the issue is the four of wands in reverse okay and this bracelet's person possibly wants to travel to you to let you know they got a family together but there, this, oh, what's going on, Spirit? What's this feminine energy trying to do? She's depressed over, about an empress, okay? Um, somebody could be doing magic on this masculine energy so he is, he won't make an offer towards you. So this could be, they should, we saw the high priestess earlier. This, whoever this woman is or the karmic energy is on this, they could be a high priestess throwing magic at you, drinking like a fucking fish, okay? This man is on the down low. That's what I do know. That's what spirits say. Yeah, they need, they not healed either. So an unhealed person is coming towards you, Gemini, or they want to come towards you. The Aquarius in reverse, the lovers. It could be another Gemini or Gemini. This person is, they're not healed when they come towards you. Or, and collective, okay? See, they're not they're not healed when they come towards you. The star in reverse. Yeah, but they want to drop these burdens and they're angry, okay? Uh, uh, they're angry at this karmic. So why are they angry at the karmic? Now, all of a sudden, because I'm sure this karmic, it didn't happen out of the blue. Her behavioral issue. What else, spirit? But this man is cut, cutting ties with this racist energy because money is slow. He leaving her because money is slow and he don't see. So whoever your person is could be very money hungry. Yeah, they don't see it as victory and success. And so they ended it and they want to rebirth with the Empress. Okay. And they're moving to calmer waters with you. But by the time they get towards you, you got, you got your guards off, boo. Yeah, you definitely got your guards off, up. This the the seven of wands. That's being very defensive. You have your guards up. You don't trust this person. Yeah, you're moving because you're moving forward. You already had a spiritual elevation, level up, awakening. You're not trying to go back to the past. The charity is not the chariot charity. Maybe somebody needs some charity. That's why you blocking them. I'm getting money issues. You're blocking them because of this ace or who you're cutting somebody out of your energy so you can receive this ace. Soon as you block something or somebody wants to come and offer you an ace that you're about to block. Okay? You're about to block it. Queen of Swords. Yeah, because you said what you said. It don't matter. Ain't no sense. You don't do third parties. And this person had you in a third party and that's the truth. And you spoke the truth. You possibly said you wouldn't go back. And you meant it. Whatever you meant. And this other person is devastated. The other person being the um masculine energy. Because you walked away. You walking away for life. Okay, forever. Forever? Forever, ever? Yeah, because the illusion. There's no more illusions. Okay, you see this person for who they really are. Time is on your side and the will has turned. This is luck, good fortune, and it's also fate. So whatever's going on in your life right now, and with the, whatever this, this situation set up, it's, it's pretty messy, but it's a fated event. Okay? Yeah. So what else, spirit? Let me go get the tea because this is kind of juicy. 
Oh, let's get the zodiac sign of who this karmic could be or who the masculine energy could be or whoever. Let me put these up. This is crazy. This is crazy, you guys. I tell you, it's just crazy. <laughs> I know, I'm silly. I love y'all. For real. Let me put this up. Nice and neat. And then let's see. As soon as I turn that around. Turn around. I wanted to say that. I don't know why. Somebody wants you to turn around and come back to them. Come back to me. I'll always. Somebody said they'll always come back to you. I hear she's my lady. Now and ever. Oh. How do I know? Because you're the empress. Um, Somebody's depressed. The, the hermit in reverse is depression. Okay, who is this spirit? What zodiac sign this could be? What zodiac sign this could be? Oh, this I forgot all these cards over here. Let's go. Let me try to shuffle these little bit of cards. If they, for some of y'all, a Capricorn is involved somewhere. The, the the karmic energy could be a Capricorn. Okay. What else, spirit? Oh, damn. Aries, Mercury. Okay, it could be an Aries. Okay, Mercury retrograde. Some of y'all might hear um, hear a message. Somebody going to reach out to you and call you on the moon, the full moon. Okay, for some of y'all, this uh, karmic energy about to do some, some magic on this full moon. But this karmic... We got we had Capricorn and then Aries. There could be a Aries and a Capricorn involved somehow, some way. I don't know. Um what else? Who else spirit could this be? The karmic or the karmics. Capricorn came out again, so definitely Capricorn for sure. Capricorn's going through some type of lesson. Mercury retrograde is all about lessons, and we have Mercury. We're in Mercury retrograde now. And so this Capricorn's learning some type of lesson with an Aries energy. What else, spirit? Who else could this be? I saw Virgo. So some of y'all, could, this could be a Virgo karmic energy. Or they could have any of this in their chart. Take it however it goes. The sun sign. So they could be a Leo or somebody's realizing that they're getting, they're getting cut from the team. Period. And somebody... Yeah, Aquarius is involved, okay? We have Aquarius, we have Capricorn, we have Aries. What, who else, Spirit? Oh, and then we got Libra. Libra hits floor. Somebody try to make Libra hit the floor. It's a low vibrational Libra. Okay, what else, Spirit? Somebody's had a realization in an air sign. So this could, like I said earlier, it could be an air on air sign crime. Doesn't have to be. But somebody wants to communicate and message you. They want a family with you. They see you as everything. You guys got several. Spirit said these are separate things. Okay, the, I, the reading will be like five hours. Because we have an Aquarius involved somewhere. Okay, there's a Capricorn that's involved. And then there's an Aries and a Libra involved, involved. And then we have Pisces. Okay, Pisces, but it came in the reverse. So this is a low vibrational Pisces that could be doing magic on a Libra situation type thing. And then Leo popped out right here. And then Gemini wanted to hit in the back. So Gemini could be hidden. They're trying to hide themselves. A Gemini could be trying to hide themselves. Something about Jupiter. Jupiter governs your wealth, governs your money, governs your blessings. Govern so you got to learn a lesson. I feel like you got to learn a lesson so of love, self-love possibly. Venus, Libra energy as well. The Venus could be any sign though. And balance out your emotions, okay? Gem whoever, I said Gemini. We got water and fire it has to learn a lesson. Water and fire. Because the moon, that's cancer. And then Aries is fire with the Mercury retrograder. Mercury. I like to see her that. The insurance company. So Mercury insurance. Air. Communication. Somebody. Yeah. Sagittarius. 
pulling up some type of illusions. When I when I say when I seen Sagittarius card, I, I don't know something reminded me of the devil, which is Capricorn's card. Capricorn represents the devil, but Sagittarius for some reason I get that as well. Okay, um, very toxic energy. He has to learn a lesson. They're going through the dark night of the soul. They're going through a depression at this time. Um, this could be that karmic energy, that feminine. So what? Is, what so why is why does yeah. spirit say go and get the tea? Okay. Somebody's been got the oh, somebody has cursed themselves, child. What the hell? Yeah, they did messing with this magic. That's what had happened. And this Pisces energy, any any of these zodiac signs, they did some magic and that shit backfired. They possibly did some mag what is this magic done? I I need to know because this is coming up heavy. What is the magic and then I'm getting a backfire because now somebody's marriage or relationship is over. What's going on, Spirit? What is this backfire? What had happened? I, the past. What about the past? Somebody was backstabbed and betrayed, and somebody took a leap of faith. They shouldn't. They shouldn't have took whatever leap of faith that they took with whoever and whoever, because now they're looking at things from a whole nother perspective. Because they're going through a tower, child. What? And now God is holding them back from a passionate brand new beginning, or the tower is now. They. I'm gonna just have to say it. Um, they don't want you to walk away, but honey, some ain't right with this new beginning, this wand. Yeah, <laughs> said that ain't right. I'm gonna just say it. they 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 could have some ED issues. I don't know. I don't wanna. Hmm. What else, spirit? King of Swords in reverse. So somebody is pissed off, angry, mad. Somebody from your past, they could have any of this in their chart over a Libra. They're mad. I hear they got tricked, tricked out they spot. Somebody got tricked out they spot or somebody told. I didn't get the seven of swords. How did they get tricked out they spot, spirit? By an illusion. This karmic caused an illusion to this masculine king of swords energy in the reverse. And now this King of Swords is all in their head because of the lie and the illusion, okay? You guys are not speaking, and they're mad that they took a leap of faith, and now they feel backstabbed and betrayed. Ain't that something? Yeah, they did. They traveled towards a Capricorn because they thought a Capricorn was going to be good news. A Libra, sun sign Libra. So for some of y'all, y'all sun sign could be Libra, or if you have to have Libra in your chart, and... Something was illuminated to you about a Libra or something about somebody cutting ties. But somebody was jealous of somebody. Okay. Who was this person that was jealous of Libra? I heard the karmic energy was jealous of Libra. Because somebody was in love with you, Gemini. They couldn't stop loving you. They couldn't stop talking about you. They couldn't stop thinking about you. And this karmic makes this karmic pissed off with this knight of swords energy they're like fuck you how dare how you dare you bring this person up in my face to only end certain things so they ended it with somebody and it's possibly that this be the, this person with this behavioral issue they could be ill they could be sick i don't know because of this moon magic backfiring okay what else spirit let's go shuffle one more time on this one Oh, goodness. What else? These cards are big. I mean, this. Somebody wants revenge. This karmic wants revenge. So I ask, what does this karmic want with my collective? She wants revenge on you. Because she's intimidated by you. You don't look intimidated. You look like. You look like the type of person that's all innocent and cute and pure. But spirits say at the same time, don't let this smooth taste fool you. I think these cards are... What is this, spirit? I, I don't want to get them backwards. Okay, thank you. I don't know. Child, I'm still... Be patient with me, please. I love you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Like I said, the cards will do what they want to do. Um, yeah. You guys are definitely different. This karmic doesn't like you because you stand out with this red or you're standing in your power. Something about your root chakra being extremely um, powerful, okay? 
right now. So you guys could be, you know, balancing out your chakras, doing your meditations, tapping into source. Because the more you tap into God and source, the stronger you get, the more enlightened you become. Okay. You could have got downloads about the situation and the energies going on around your uh, energetic field. Okay, because they were, everything these people were doing or this person was doing, they were doing it in secret. They were doing it in secret, but the secrets were in, have been exposed or illuminated now because the moon is hidden secrets. Now somebody got a victim mentality. So this karmic energy is jealous of you. That's who it is. They're jealous of your beauty. They're jealous of everything that you are. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a white lady, though, for real. I'm not, no offense. I love my white peoples. I love you, booze. But to whoever this person is, her, this is the type of Karen energy. They're angry with this Aries. They're upset. They're learning a lesson. God is sending them through a lesson. Okay. What lesson is God trying to send this person through? Yeah. Because this person's jealous. Like I said, they were jealous of you, whoever they are. They're jealous of everything because it's masculine. They don't, they can't. And she was copying you. Look, she was copying you. Trying to be like you. Okay? And she done hooked up and, oh, I don't know. What's up, spirit? But she got somebody pretty much in the bottom line. Somebody, they want to hit you up. Okay? They're all in their head. A lie has no legs to stand on. So this karmic could have lied on you in some form or fashion. Okay, slandering and bad-mouthing you. And that's why your person moved on from this Capricorn. Okay, and now somebody wants to take action to get whoever this masculine energy is back by gaslighting them. But this masculine is not responding to whoever this karmic energy is. He leaving her on, or him on red. They like, no. And what else, Holy Spirit? Yep, because they, they feel like they got finessed the first time. They were lied to the first time. They don't lo they no longer put this person on a pedestal, whoever they are, and they're not attracted to this person anymore. This person, I don't know. Mm, I hear ill built. Lord, ill built. Mm, what else, spirit? Yeah, flings in reverse. Nobody wants to have a fling. So she's calling this person up for flings to still sexually connect themselves to this masculine energy. And this masculine energy is like, no, fuck you. I'm cool on you. But this person's an energy vampire. Whoever this person with the behavior, this Karen is, they an energy vampire. And they're desperate. Mm, mm, mm. So what else, spirit? I'm not going to try to make this too long because this sounds like some mess. Okay, what else, Spirit, would you want the collective to know? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just... Yep. Tyrant and Diva wanted to come out. And then we have Lazy Can't Be Bothered to Do Anything. Opposites attract. So whoever, this boy toy, they're learning a lesson, okay, of being earthly if that's making sense whoever this masculine energy is and they are a boy toy yeah they dropped a hoe they left the they let the hoe go the hoe over there or the lie was this exposed that you were not the hoe that this person said that you were maybe they had a group of people to collaborate and to come together with these lies and the lies were exposed and now this masculine feels some kind of way because um he feels dumb because it was an illusion. He feels like maybe something was ugly. Like I said, he could have been really mean to you. Or she could have been really mean to you. Said some awful things that they possibly cannot take back. Okay, they're all in their head, but they do want to come and apologize to you, this masculine. Tell me more about this. Yeah, you could be opposite. Like I said, this could be a white and black thing or a interracial thing. This could be an interracial couple. Okay, your person could, I don't know. Your person could be any lighter than you, or you lighter than them. But if you're melanin-filled, this karmic energy, this hateful Karen don't like you. They don't like this masculine with you. There's something about you, the opposites attract, that they want to run back to you. You see that? Look how they're looking. This masculine, this is, how he, this is what he want to do. This is probably what y'all would be doing sometimes, or did. And now all this masculine can do is admire you from afar at this time. 
but they, their intentions are to come back to you or to at least attempt to come back to you, to clear the air, to make things right. So let's go see how Gemini High Vibe Cross Watcher feel about this. Let me get my regular Rider Ray tape through. How do they feel? How do they feel? They feel like they, they didn't want to apologize. Okay, that's the bottom of that. They want to balance things out. Temperance Angel. Okay, they do. That's how they feel. So that's what's going on. So they got a couple that's upset. Okay, because... The masculine views you as this. They've even told the karmic energy that you were their soulmate. And the, you know when they told the the masculine energy that you were their soulmate? They got, this is what they, they probably started going crazy and shit. And this person was like, whoa, what's going on? I, it's happening. She's like, you just won't shut the fuck up about collective. Shut the fuck up about collective. Lay it to rest. Stop talking about collective, okay? This is what this is what the karmic really energy that they want to do to you, collective, okay? If they could set up some type of ambush, some type of fight, somebody want to come and fight, somebody wants to take you out of here, all over a man. This is crazy as hell, and this is a lazy ass man that can't even be bothered to do shit. And they tyrant tolling. Child, they act like a bitch. So this is a bitch made mama's boy. Lord have mercy that this masculine is sitting over here fighting over you and Gemini you high vibe, whoever you are. You don't let go of this energy. You don't even how does Gemini High Vibe cross watcher feel about this? How do how do the high vibes feel about this energy? Because you don't let them go, Gemini. Gemini, you done moved on. Okay, you moved on. You're not thinking about whoever this mama's boy is. Yeah, you feel like if you go with them, you will be, it's a defeat. That's how you feel. Mm-hmm. And you feel like you would be a fool, too. I saw the fool. Fool is a risk taker. So if you took a risk, you feel like you'd be, in a, you'd be a fool. And what else, Holy Spirit? This King of Swords. If you were to get into, this King of Swords wants to come and marry you, too. Or there's somebody want to come and marry you. So for some of y'all, either way it go, no matter what situation, you could have a person. This could be a new energy and an old energy. So you could be seeing a new energy and an old energy in your past. I don't know how they're mirroring each other's experiences, but King of Wands popped up too. This air that sign could have fire in their chart. Series Sagittarius came up, okay? The Sagittarius feels defeated, okay? Why do they feel defeated, spirit? Because, I don't know. Maybe this karmic could be Sagittarius as well. Because something was exposed about this karmic energy. And now he's leaving her behind. But what, so what was, and then they, what was exposed about the karmic was they were having flings and other lovers. Oh, and that's a tower. That brought the tower down. This person feels foolish because they believe that whoever this karmic energy really loved them. They really did. Mm. And now they feel they're all in their head over whoever the karmic is. Now, the karmic could be going through some karma right now. Spirits say they are going through karma by God himself, child. Because um, somebody, they're trying to, they're using magic on an earth angel. They're trying to interfere in some type of divine union. Okay? And also, there's a king of swords that's going, losing their mind over you. And they're feeling defeated because you laid something to rest. Gemini. Okay? And they're doing moon magic on you as well. I'm hearing, baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. But it's all their fault, though. It's weird, right? Mm-hmm. This emperor wants to marry you. They're walking away from a marriage to come to you to cause an illusion. What kind of shit is this? What kind of energy is this king of swords, Lord? No, it could be anybody now. Y'all couldn't. I'm just saying. What else? There? The king of swords is a fucking liar, a deceiver, a Decepticon, somebody that can't be trusted, a trickster, someone who causes illusions in their shadow side. So they're ha they haven't changed. I said they're leaving this karmic energy behind because the karmic is broken. They're going through money problems and they're fussing and fighting and it's a lot going on. And so why is this King of Swords or whoever King of Wands thinking about collective for? Because, oh, because you're on top. 
you're on top somehow, somewhere. And this is why they want to come and apologize or make some type of offer because you're on top. Look, whatever you do for work or they want to work things out with you, you're on top. And they feel like them linking up with you because they're going through some things with their money at the top. They would become the king of pinnacles working with you. But they had that opportunity and they squandered it away because it said that they left you to go be with a baby mama who they really were in love with and trusted. So they possibly juggled you with this person and they're under judgment for that. You said something, okay, that held true and you're standing your ground to this energy. And this energy is very angry and upset that you're standing your ground. I heard Bogart in force. Bogart in force. Yeah, this person wants to Bogart and force you, Gemini. They feel left out in the cold. They feel like you're, they, they listened to the woman and the woman left them, let them out into the cold. And now they're feeling crunchy and crazy and crusty. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because they thought that was their two of cups. But come to find out, they believed the lie. All because the baby mama was saying lies about you. Possibly said that you was a hoe and you was never a hoe. Saying you was promiscuous. You was never promiscuous. This person's finding out that you're some type of earth angel. You could have a platform. Okay, they could be, they're spying on you, looking at you some form, some way, and whatever, and whatever they're looking and seeing, it's causing them a heavy burden. It's causing them to be heavily burdened and then to be weighed down and anchored down. And it's causing them to drink a lot because they were being greedy and smug. Okay, the Nine of Cups energy. Um, towards, with this Capricorn energy. I'm t oh, so it could be anything, y'all. This Capricorn energy, this matriarch, but it could be a Capricorn that um, they were being greedy and smug with. They thought they were causing some type of illusion, but they were lying to you about a Capricorn or they feel some kind of way because this Capricorn lied to them about a marriage and caused some type of illusion that they were going to get married or maybe this person said that they were going to marry you and make them your wife, but they backstabbed and betrayed you either from their family spreading rumors and lies and gossip or this karmic spreading rumors and lies and gossip or whoever whoever um your or, or your family they said that you was a hoe cuz i swear and then that's when they brought in the tower cuz they said you was hoeing around jim and i but honey you actually well, even if you're single so you're not tied to anybody i don't feel yeah they say you was out there giving it up doing it okay throwing it around yeah, taking risks, leaps of faith with everybody and shit like that. And they should reject you and leave you out in the cold. Yeah. And that's the truth, to go be with them. And they did that in secret. Okay? Yeah. Addictions very... With the Capricorn. So this could be a Capricorn. Who the fuck is this Capricorn, child? Yeah. Um, they could have said this about a Libra because a Capricorn could have said this about a Libra. Libra didn't show up. Um, spirit. Yeah, and somebody heavily burdened because, child, I hope this didn't happen. This is crazy because I am getting STD. I was trying to leave all that out because I'm so sick of that coming out in the, <laughs> the readings. But I guess it, somebody need to know. It's possible as well that this King of Swords got with this Capricorn energy and they ended up getting some type of STD leakage. Okay, flare up, break out, whatever the case may be. But look, okay, that causes some balancement in their emotions and everything. They're like, damn, I left you for that? And they pissed the F off. They are so angry. Because lust, I said the person, this person was, a, a, a spirit said a lot of lusty. And they couldn't, by them putting you in competition or conflict with somebody else, that caused the illness. Somebody could be ill, it could be a health issue, a health concern, okay? And this, this Capricorn, I mean, or King of Wands and a Capricorn, or this King of Wands is fighting with a Capricorn. Because now there's a King of Wands fist balled up because he mad and shit because... He's finding out that whoever you are, or he's, yeah, he's finding out whoever you are, you're not promiscuous. And so, yeah, and that's how they figured out this person lied. 
because they could be watching you on online or on a platform or wherever they're watching you, they're watching you, and they seeing that you're not promiscuous. That's how they're finding out this person lied. And now they're in regret that they went down another direction and another path and took action to backstab and betray you, possibly with this Capricorn or whoever this energy is. They took a leap of faith with, and got a tower. They took a leap of faith and got a tower. This one night stand. So for some of y'all, it could be your family member. Okay, your family. They could have. They took a leap of faith with your family member, child, and because you blocked them or you rejected them, spirit said that's the truth. And now they're in their head because when you blocked them or something like that, your their money is slow and you're moving forward. So just know that that's why they want to come back if they happen to want to come back. So I don't feel like this person's in regret, even though they're putting on this show for this. So they could be using you, Collective, to make this karmic jealous a little bit. A spirit said a lot of it, okay? Um, This is a narcissist person, whoever they are. It's a ma narcissistic male uh, couple, period. And that's what that's how they operate in chaos and conflict, and they're both sick. So I'm hearing y'all be careful for t take anything back from the past. That the six of cups came in reverse. That means that you don't know no past. It means no past, or you don't have good memories of the past, or don't take the past back. Leave the past in the past because if you take the past back, just know that they backstabbed and betrayed you either over money or a family. Or your family. Take it however it go, okay? And had a one-night stand with your family member. Because, oh my God, look, that's what brought down the tower and everything. Two people coming out of it, okay? Two people are coming out of this tower. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, the devil. Because of their talk, look, and they chained together. So they done got some type of blood disease that's running through their veins, yeah, Gemini, and you move into calmer waters to your wish fulfillment with the Ace of Cups. So you're living your life the best, like it's golden. And you possibly have a new lover coming in. But Gemini, yeah, air sign. Some of y'all could have a Virgo, a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Taurus, um, Cancer, and Jupiter. Oh, I said, okay. So whatever this relationship is going to be good luck, it's going to have material wealth. That's with the Jupiter energy, okay? It's going to be passionate. It's going to be a brand new, passionate beginning, very fulfilling, very loving, caring, nurturing, and kind, okay? And then the past is all in their emotions, all cold, and they're going through a lesson of love. Yeah, their, their heart chakra is being worked on right now, and the illusions are working through illusions, or the illusion has been revealed. The moon in the reverse, that's been revealed, Okay, because I say illusions with this uh, your, um, Neptune. And somebody's angry that whatever this was with the Earth sign, could be a Taurus or a Capricorn, it's dead. It's over. It was an illusion. They were supposed to go through a transformation and a rebirth, or this situation is making them go through some type of transformation and rebirth. Okay, whoever these, whatever I just said, that's how it is. So you just take the energy and put it where it needs to be. So a masculine left somebody and the karmic is pissed off, losing their mind. They find out somebody got with a cray cray. Somebody is jealous of you. Gemini, you probably don't even know this person or maybe you do know of this person. But whoever they are, they're very jealous of you and they think they're better than you. But then whoever, their ego is being bruised right now because this masculine is telling them that you're better than them. And they thought they were better than you. But no, that's not what, how it goes. So, Gemini, that's been your reading. I love you so much. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.